In this practice, we're going to do some mindful movement. Following the instructions, I'll be giving you as best you can. But it's really important to let your own judgment override any suggestions I make about how long to hold the posture, or indeed whether to adopt the posture, using your own sensitivity of your body to guide you. If any of the postures do not seem right to you, then either sitting them out, assuming a comfortable posture, closing your eyes, and visualising yourself doing the movement. Or perhaps taking a variation of the posture that is right for you and for your body just now. And exploring the edges of this movement. This is an invitation to experience the sensations within your body as we stretch and move. Dwelling at your boundaries long enough to investigate them in that moment. Remembering that this is not a competition with ourselves or others to see how far we can stretch. Not forcing our bodies into any of the postures. But accepting and exploring our limits as they are in the moment. So there is nothing to strive for. Just being kind with yourself as we stretch and move. And as best you can, observing the sensations in your body. Noticing what you are feeling as fully as possible. And embracing any sensations. And being mindful in particular of any intensities that the stretches may bring out. Being aware of how your mind responds to them. As we do this practice, you may want to experiment with closing your eyes, and at other times, keeping them open. Now let's begin by taking our seat on a straight back chair, making sure you have enough space around you to stretch out. Sitting forward in the chair, with your back away from the back of the chair, and your knees forward at the edge of the chair, if that is comfortable for you. Feet grounded on the floor. Hands resting lightly on your thighs. Shoulders open and relaxed. With your spine upright but not stiff. Taking a neutral and relaxed position. And now bringing your attention to breathing, wherever you feel the sensation of the breath movement most strongly in the body. Aware of the feeling of the in-breath. And the feeling of the out-breath. And now expanding awareness to include the body as a whole, sitting here in this room. And on each out breath, letting the body sink deeper into the chair. Letting go of any tension in your muscles, in the shoulders, the back the legs, letting the whole body be supported by the chair. So we're going to begin with a movement for the forearms. So starting with your hands facing palm downwards, slightly lifting both your forearms, clench your fists and rotate your fists down and back towards the body. Perhaps feeling the stretch in the wrists and forearms. Exploring with curiosity and kindness how this feels. 
perhaps feeling tensions in other parts of the body as you support your arms. And then on an out breath, let the hands relax and come back up, releasing the fists, letting the hands settle again on the thighs. And coming back to the breath, feeling the sensations of the breath in the abdomen. Now, turn your hands over so your palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Clench your fists and rotate your fists upwards and towards the body. Perhaps noticing how this is different from the first stretch. And exploring sensations of the stretch in the wrists and the forearms. And then on an out breath, let the hands relax slowly releasing the fists and letting the arms settle again on the legs with the palms downwards. Coming back to the breath, the breath in the abdomen. Perhaps sensing the after effects of the stretch in your body. Now we're going to do a raised arms movement. So on an out breath, extend both your arms out to the side and up, past the shoulders and up over your head in one slow, purposeful movement. If this is comfortable for you, keep the arms straight and press the palms together taking the gaze up towards your thumbs and the ceiling. And as your palms come together and you want to extend the stretch, taking a deeper breath and seeing if it's possible to stretch the arms and torso upwards, almost as if you were being pulled upwards by your hands towards the ceiling, towards the sky. holding this stretch for a few breaths. Feeling the arms and torso stretching. Perhaps pressure in the shoulders. Exploring with curiosity and kindness how this feels. Taking care of yourself. And then on an out breath, let the arms come back down again in one slow movement over the whole duration of the out breath. And return to resting your hands on your thighs. Perhaps experiencing the muscles in your arms and shoulders and back letting go after the stretch. tuning into sensations in your body. Now we're going to do a leg stretch. So on an in-breath, moving forward and clasping the left knee and upper shin with your hands. Then on an out breath, experimenting with drawing a left knee towards your chest, pulling on your arms around the shin and the knee so you can support your leg as you stretch. Depending on your legs, this stretch might be difficult, so please use your judgment whether to do the leg stretch or not. Perhaps just making a small movement, 
just stopping wherever you wind up and exploring that as your limit at this particular time. And if it is better for you not to physically make this movement, then perhaps just visualising the movement instead. And holding this position for a few breaths. Exploring the sensations of the stretch. Sensing the edges of the stretch as you breathe deeply. Softening around the sensations as you breathe. Now letting go of the left knee and shin and letting your left knee come back down to its original position. Now on an in-breath, moving forward and clasping the right knee with your hands. And on the out-breath, drawing your right knee towards your chest. Pulling on your arms so you can support your right leg as you stretch. Exploring the limits of this movement just now. Experiencing them. Perhaps aware of thoughts as you maintain this stretch. And then with sensitivity and awareness, letting go of the right knee and shin and letting your right knee slowly come back down to its original position. Coming to rest. Allowing your attention to return to any sensations in the body. The body as it is right now. Now we're going to do some stretches for the back. On an out breath, arching your back, lifting the middle of the back so your shoulders are drawn together at the front. Your upper body moves forwards, dropping your chin towards your chest. So your spine is arched like the spine of a startled cat. And on the in-breath, reversing the stretch so your chin lifts up, your chest open, and your shoulders move back to the neutral seated positions. And continue past this so the stomach comes out and the chin rises. The shoulders move back and you are looking up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, repeat the arching of the back, moving the shoulders forward and the chin down. And with your own breathing rhythm, repeating this movement. Arching the back on the out-breath. And pushing the stomach out on the in-breath. Curious about the sensations in doing this. Observing sensations with kindness and gentleness. And being sensitive to the body's message about the limits of the stretch that is right for you in this moment. Now coming back to the neutral seated position. Just tuning into how your body now feels, having done these stretches. So now we're going to do a side stretch. So on an out breath, gently and slowly lift your left arm up over your head. 
bringing your right arm to your hip for support. Bending your torso over to the right, and letting your head drop down on the right, but trying not to lean forwards and backwards. Letting yourself move just as far as your body tells you is right in this moment. Sensing the edges of the stretch as you breathe deeply. Holding this position for a few breaths. Perhaps exploring how the sensations change over time. And if your mind wanders away from the stretch, then just gently bringing it back to the sensations in your body. And then on an out breath, slowly and gently lowering the left arm, releasing the stretch down your left side and returning to the upright position. So now we're going to repeat the stretch in the other direction. So on an out breath, bending to the left, gently and slowly lift your right arm up over your head, bending your torso to the left and letting your head drop to the left. Again, noticing the stretch. Perhaps breathing into any place of intensity in the body. And on each out breath, letting the body soften and exploring the limits of the stretch. Being fully here with your body in this position. And now on an out breath, slowly and gently lowering your right arm, releasing the stretch down your right side and returning to the neutral position. Breathing here. Aware of the sensations in your body. Now we're going to do a twisting stretch. So on an in-breath, sit and lengthen your spine and bring your right hand across to your left leg and your left hand around and down to your left side, maybe onto the armrest if there is one. And on the out-breath, twist your torso around to the left, look over your left shoulder being sensitive to the body's messages about the limits of the stretch that is right for you in this moment. Curious about the limits doing this stretch, perhaps playing with them, but not pushing beyond them. Observing what arises with gentleness and kindness. And on an out breath, relaxing the stretch and gently untwisting the torso and returning the torso and arms to the seated position. And now twisting in the other direction. So on an in-breath, lengthen your spine and bring your left hand across to your right leg and your right arm around to your right side onto the armrest if there is one. And on the out-breath, twist your torso around to the right look over your right shoulder. Again, being sensitive to the body's messages about the limits of the stretch that is right for you in this moment. Curious about the sensations, and perhaps the differences to when you twist it in the opposite direction. Breathing into the sensations of the stretch. And on an out breath, very slowly relaxing the stretch and gently untwisting the torso, returning the torso and the arms to the seated position. 
Noticing the effects of just having done this stretch. Being present to what is here in this moment. And for the last stretch of this practice, we're going to do a stretch for the arms and shoulders. So lifting your arms and bending your arms at the elbows so the upper arms are parallel to the floor and your forearms perpendicular to the floor. And if this movement feels right for you, on and out breath, cross your left arm over your right arm at the elbows so your hands are back to back. Noticing which muscles are working here. Where you feel the stretch most strongly. Relaxing and opening to any sensations. And on an out breath, slowly and gently relaxing the stretch and crossing your arms. Noticing moment by moment as you return to the resting position. It's now reversing the stretch. So lifting the arms. And on an out breath, cross your right arm over the left arm at the elbows. So your hands are back to back. Perhaps feeling how the sensations in your body alter as you breathe in and you breathe out. And on and out breath, slowly and gently relaxing the stretch and uncrossing your arms. Noticing moment by moment as you return to the resting position. Now expanding your attention to feelings in your entire body. Sitting here after having done all this stretching. Feeling yourself as whole, as complete. Opening to things just as they are. And bringing a sense of kindness and gentleness to your body as it is in this moment. And as this practice comes to an end, perhaps thanking your body for all the work it has done. taking care of yourself. Taking care of yourself as you transition back into your day-to-day -day life. Remembering that this state of gentle and sensitive awareness is available to you at any point. Simply by tuning into this moment, to this breath. To this body. Letting this be a source of balance in your life as you return back to the activities of your day. <laughs>